Today we're going to talk about tire studs. If you want to put studs in your tire, that is your tires did not come with studs, then you can buy aftermarket screw-in studs. I prefer the kind with a flat bottom. Okay, see that thread? There's an installation tool that goes in your drill. I'll show you that in a minute. And uh, you press this onto your tire, hit your drill, and it screws its way into the tire tread using that very sharp, very wide thread. And what I like about these, it's, it's very flat on the bottom. It's not going to work its way through your tire and puncture it. Uh, they, they do make some studs with points. I don't like them. That's me personally. Now, you have to purchase a uh, stud that will not penetrate all the way through your tire. Measure your tread understand how to put them on, where to put them on, and purchase the appropriate size stud, okay, because they make them in all depths. Now, I have in the video here a number of things that are not studs. Do not use fasteners that you have laying around your garage um, as studs in your tires. I don't, I don't care how long, I don't care how aggressive the, the threads are, because these will come out, okay? This is designed specifically to stay in your tire. I've had them in one set of tires for over two years now. And that's constant running. And I, I do monitor them for depth and for uh, working loose, either going in or going out. I certainly don't want them flying loose on the highway. Uh, anything, even, even this, flying loose on the highway, uh, will at a minimum shatter someone's windshield, cost them a ton of money. If it gets through the windshield, they're in a lot of trouble because then it's going to hurt someone. Also, it will uh, disable someone else's vehicle by puncturing their tire. So don't use anything except an actual screw-in stud. So let's get down to that. Like and subscribe or I'll set this fella loose in your garage. <laughs>